And Ernst knows what it's like to have music legends Johnny Cash and Marty Robbins under the same roof. Well, at least very small versions of them. One twelfth the scale, to be exact. For more than 20 years, Ernst has become a prolific creator of miniatures, or minis as she calls them. Each mini is lovingly packed with color, characters, and details upon details upon details. Yes, if you can't guess, you know, what the story is, then I'm failing. <laughs> the stories behind her miniatures are about as diverse as her own. I had my hand in many, many little things. You enjoy learning things. Well, I do. And then, as I said, having five children and managing several businesses, you know, you do all kinds of things. Sure. You do what you have to do. Some minis evoke strong emotions, like the rainbow bridge scene housed in the base of this lamp. From her imagination, this is the place where pets go after passing away to wait for their owners. Or take these two scenes that freeze frame two pivotal moments of this woman's life, her engagement and the death of her husband decades later. There, and when she looks in the mirror, she doesn't see this wrinkled old lady. She sees her younger self as she used to be. And what? wouldn't it be wonderful if we could all do that? Once there were stores in the area she could visit that specialized in this hobby, they've all since closed. So Ernst, at 82, has had to get savvy with online ordering. Heaven help us with the tariffs. <laughs> Ernst has gifted many of her minis to her children, partly because they took up so much space in her house. She says, though, she doesn't have any interest in selling them. Instead, she'd rather people who see her work focus on the meaning of each one. Everything has its own story. As many people as there are, that's how many stories there are. David Irish, CBC News, Westfall.